Alrighty, fresh from the theater, like literally just walked out uh, and lighting is, is not the best, but it's hard to make this mug look good. Anyway, uh, my thoughts, uh, review on the Batman. Um, if I was going to sum this up in a word, uh, perfect. I, I, that's my initial gut reaction. There are some choices that I'm sure the more I think about them, the more I might question them. Uh, and that's just some character stuff. It's not super deep. It's not stuff that changes the character, which, uh, you know, Pattinson just crushes. Uh, really um, brilliant, brilliant performance on his part. Uh, you know, as as they lay out, and, and it's been said, so this isn't a spoiler, this is a year two Batman, and he plays it as a guy that is still confident but unsure at times. And it comes across really well really really well uh honestly the entire cast is uh stellar there's probably a couple people i want more of including colin farrell's penguin if i didn't know there was an hbo max show coming about his character i would be kind of upset that i wanted more of the penguin in this movie but knowing that we're gonna get more uh i'll let it slide uh but definitely i want to see more of andy circus's alfred uh going forward when we see more Zoe Kravitz's Selena Kyle Catwoman she was great uh so hopefully she's back when they make a sequel because they will make a sequel if they don't um it's because the world ends and that's about the only way you shouldn't make a sequel to this movie because as I said it is beautiful uh, both visually the story is is beautiful uh I've mentioned the acting Matt Reeves wrote a really great Batman story and if you're a fan of the comics, you can easily pick up which, which comics he definitely took inspiration from. Um, it's, it's not really hidden, uh, but he does enough to change it so that you don't feel like you're reading those comic books again, which is kind of one of my pet peeves uh, off on a tangent. But when you see like a, you know, a movie and it's like, we're doing this comic book story and they're just doing the exact same story as a fan, it's like, I already read that. I don't need to see it. Um, so it is a little peppy, but anyway, that's not an issue in this. The story has many arcs. It's a bit of a roller coaster, and Gotham feels very alive in this film, and in a way that is probably going to make some people feel depressed, in all honesty. Um, just the Gotham that they're living in, with the rich elites kind of having everything, and the others having nothing it's very much a mirror on the world today. And, and I know sometimes people want the escapism of, of a film. Uh, it doesn't beat you over the head with it, but it's there. Uh, so just a, kind of a heads up on that. I don't know. I wouldn't classify that as a spoiler. That's always been Gotham, but sometimes the movies don't really play that up. This one, uh, it doesn't play it up, but it's, it's an underlying theme. Um, Paul Dano's Riddler is, uh, is really good. I almost don't know if I would have done Riddler as his character. A hush might have even worked. Um, just again, but the Riddler thing works with the riddles in the movie, and Paul Dano's great. He's really good. Uh, there, there's uh, just an amazing sequence, and it was in the trailers a little bit of it, where uh, you know he's obviously captured, and it's a kind of a yeah, similar to like in The Dark Knight when we had the Joker Batman in the interrogation room. It's it's kind of like that. Dano just steals that scene. Like Paul Dano just absolutely rips that scene apart so good. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to tell you, this isn't a spoiler, but there are, there's a shot. Actually, there's multiple shots towards the end of this film that capture what Batman has meant to me over the years and kind of when I think of the character what I think of I was pretty much I was holding in tears uh, at a couple of the shots they were beautiful they were everything I want in a Batman movie uh and like that movie could have made me cry a thousand times it, it just tears of joy and and just the beauty of it um some people online complaining about the fact that it's three hours. It does go by pretty quick. There are a couple parts that, that drag a tad, but they don't last very long. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely a film that keeps the story going. There's lots of twists and turns. It's a detective story, which is great to see. There's always been elements of 
detective work. You know, um, if you go back to 89's Batman with, with Keaton, you know, he, he cracks the, the, the Joker uh, code with the cosmetics. And then, you know, Affleck's Batman does uh, some detective work when he's going to the fights. There's always been drops. And then obviously Bale's Batman does some detective work as well with the surveillance cameras and whatnot. There's always been drops of the detective work. It takes center stage here. But having said that, doesn't cut back on the fight scenes. There's some really great action and probably the best introduction shot to the Batmobile in any film. Like really just awesome. Like it was, it was definitely a crowd pleasing moment. Uh, I could go on and on and on about this and I probably will have more to say on the Batman when, uh, when I do this week's edition of the podcast, which if you're not checking that out, eh, you know, maybe you should, um, <laughs> just a suggestion. But if I was going to wrap this up, this thing was, was glorious. It really was. I don't know, uh, anybody, I don't know what issues you could have with it when I sit down right now and think about it. Yeah. You might have little nitpicks, but as far as major issues go, there's none to be had. There really, really isn't. This is just a solid, solid Batman movie. And uh, man, I want more. Like I, I would, if there was another showing right now and I didn't have to go home, <laughs> I would probably turn my ass around, go back to the theater and, and watch it again. Because uh, I'm sure I miss stuff. I'm sure I miss stuff. So uh, overall, amazing job. Kudos to the cast, the crew, Matt Reeves writing it, directing it. It is an accomplishment as a Batman fan. I'm over the moon as a comic book fan. I'm, I'm over the moon. And, and as obviously as a DC fan, super, super uh, stoked for, for how great this film is and, uh, and maybe what it means for, for DC films going forward. So don't hesitate, go out and see the Batman as soon as you can. And, and, uh, and let me know what you thought of the Batman in the uh, in the comments below uh maybe you don't like it as much as i do i would say that that's impossible but uh, <laughs> if if you do you don't uh leave a comment and again don't forget to uh, check out the podcast the scotty myers show available wherever you get your podcasts and i know you get them